Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got Hubble versus James Webb, a mystery event on Saturn, pre-earthquake anomalies, a mid-disaster cycle warming event, and the recognition that changes in Earth's poles are responsible for changes in climate. We've also got some Observer Ranch announcements at the end, but you're watching the last 24 hours on our star where top left, incoming, is where the activity can be found. We broke the streak of quiet with an eruptive M2 solar flare this morning, CME release out away from the Earth, but this will be worth monitoring. X-ray flux shows the flare and in X-ray light views. The 94 angstrom band shows that we can see this active region is at the limb now, turning to face us this coming week. We'll be monitoring the coronal holes this week as well. It is big, reaches up transequatorially from the south. We'll set an earthquake watch along with geomagnetic storm watch by the weekend. A quick note is that larger seismicity has already returned, 6.3 south of New Zealand. Good thing that one was offshore, remembering Christchurch quake in 2011. We've got comparison shots between Hubble visible light view of ionized plasma and hot gas clouds compared with the dust scoping of James Webb, showing the finer connective features. It's only by utilizing multiple wavelengths that reach outside of our eyesight that we can see the full story of the cosmos. Folks, a developing mystery. There was a flash on Saturn. There was a flash on Jupiter 13 years ago. I remember that well. This one could be even more interesting. It would be the first flash ever detected from Saturn, and while they always want to blame impactors, my mind always goes to there being failed stars impacted right now by the galactic current sheet and possibly having small flaring activity. Solid paper here on the geomagnetic and electric anomalies before earthquakes. They found both to be prevalent before the bigger quakes with geomagnetic disturbances taking the highest marks of occurrence. Earthquakes really do give themselves away beforehand. Thousands of papers on this now and still no official forecasting system. Outstanding look up next at the mid-disaster cycle warm events. These coincide with stronger field sequences. A good example would be the warming 3,000 years ago during the Levantine Iron Age anomaly or the heating around 9,000 years ago before the 8.2K cooling event. This one sits between Gothenburg and Helena Pauli about 15,000 years ago. Lastly, on the article front, we're looking at polar wander, different models of the past and how wildly it can change the paleoclimate record by 15 to 20 degrees, actually. The purpose of the paper was to see which model captured the movement of the crust and continents in the past and how dramatically it impacted the climate. I have no issues with that line of study, obviously. Folks, the rest of the month is now full of events at Observer Ranch. The kids' space camp is going on this week. Then this weekend, we'll have a pole shift conference on Saturday. But two newly listed events to close out July and head into August. One is the permaculture class. That was rated one of our best events so far, so it's back for round two, July 18th through the 20th. Then right after the speed dating event, we have family prepping class. Yes, for the whole family. Pretty vital stuff we'll be learning about the old ways that might really help you survive. That'll be the last week of the month. Last night during the live show, we were discussing a bit about the experience in October. While far from perfect, a lot of who I am is hard as a coffin nail and utterly ready for what's about to happen to this planet. This program is how I got that way, and now it's coming to the ranch. Use the special link below to watch the video and apply. We only have eight spots left for the October event, going quickly. Check out the events. Links are below. Book your stay. We would love to see you. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.